Hey, do you have problems sculpting and realistic looking animals in ZBrush? Try searching online for any step by step tutorial but then still no luck? Then I welcome you to next two dedications Animal Anatomy Sculpting for Beginners. My name is Adrian and I started a company called AceAnatomy.com where I've been teaching human and animal anatomy sculpting in ZBrush for many years now. Alright, so what you're gonna learn in this course, I'm gonna teach you the basics of creating a base mesh from. Um, using these spheres and then plugging out the basic skeleton uh, respecting the proportions um, that you got from these spheres and then roughly blocking out the superficial muscles that affect the skin and then obviously re refining those muscles going a bit overboard because we're still going to pose the character and then doing quick um, retopology and UVs in ZBrush and then also posing our character using the transpose tools Looking closely at our reference and just maintaining the proportions again, like so. And again, also the skin folds. We're going to be doing some skin folds, understanding where to add them and where they affect. And then also the fine details, uh, just using the normal ZBrush um, alphas. And also the tree bark. We're going to do the tree bark from a cylinder, blocking out the primary forms and all those major shapes and then also adding the fine details using the noise maker and then also doing our eye our re realistic eye using um the zbrush stager most of the details will be done by hand and some of them using re the reference that we have for a tiger and then also um in zbrush we're going to be doing some poly paint using the spotlight feature I'm gonna show you guys some cool tricks and um, how to blend your textures together in the images you have as a reference. So I'm gonna show you guys those tricks, those poly paints, which is realistic. And then we are gonna move into um, XGen Maya. I'm also gonna show you guys um, a, a very cool and easy trick and then rendering in Arnold and then some color correction also in Photoshop to get those realistic renders for your portfolio. So if you want to start sculpting realistic looking animals in ZBrush, why wait? Join me now.